Untold Evidence of Third Kind Alien Contact by a Farmer Part 1 In April 1999, Mr. Isidro Cab from a small town in Yucatan, Mexico, narrated to local media his incredible story of alien contact. Twenty years ago, at the end of the 70s, he was a keen hunter, so it happened that one night, at nearly 12 o'clock, he was at home when some friends called on him to go out hunting deer to the east, in an area where they were plentiful. As he was preparing dinner, he told them to go on ahead. About an hour later, he mounted his bicycle to follow them along the road about three miles away. He had gone about a mile when he saw there was something in the middle of the road about 200 yards ahead. Although the night was clear, the object had no lights, and he couldn't make out what it was, but he thought it was a truck belonging to Mr. Mokalin, a friend of him who used to park on the route. It must have broken down, and he left it here, he thought. He cycled on, until he was about 60 feet away, and saw that the object was much larger than a truck. Intrigued, he turned on his hunting lamp to see it better. We will let him describe what happened next in his own words. Then, I saw an object that looked the size of a house, as big as this one, Isidro indicates his own thatched house and then goes on, I could also see how this object wasn't standing on the ground, like it was floating. Then suddenly a door opened and a stepladder came out, three steps, and two people came down, each one with a sort of padlock in their nose. They were a man and a woman, but they were ugly, like the pictures of aliens, with big eyes and mouths. They were all bundled up, and wearing helmets, about this big, like four feet tall, dressed in a kind of silvery leather, like a suit. And when they walked, you could hear how their bodies made a kind of metallic sound. It was about one in the morning, and they wanted to talk to me, but it was as if they didn't have tongues, they talked like mutes. One of them opened my bag and looked over my food known as Pasol, because I was carrying my provisions, tortilla and a liter of spirits, a small gourd and my shot. I always take the bottle of spirits with me in case something strange happens around, as tradition then I can leave a drink for the little ghosts in the gourd so they'll let me hunt in peace. But when that whatever it was saw the leader of spirits, the bastard took it. They even took the gourd back to their planet. When I saw they were back in that ship of theirs, but they hadn't left, I took off through the plantations back to town. My friends Bato Perez and Mario Hoyas told me they're just curious, they don't do any harm. That was 20 years ago now.